Hi, my name's Elspeth Wright. I'm 33, single, unemployed, and a comedian. Let me give you some advice. Step one, image. Image is so important when you, and maybe your roommates if you have them, are the only people that are gonna see you. Now it's time to play. Now it's time to get into that deep, dark part of yourself that says, maybe I'll shave side, a side of my head. I don't know. It doesn't matter how you look. So enjoy your look. Wanna dye your hair? Dye your hair. I dyed mine three times in the first month of this. Want to do your makeup so you look like Joe Exotic and then spend your day yelling at your couch? Why not? I did it and I'm fine. So if you're anything like me and you're going to dye your hair to fix your problems, might I recommend following these steps. Use whatever you have lying around. For example, I had this very old red leave-in conditioner because I used to dye my hair red. So I just put that on for a good three hours, definitely longer than recommended, and bam, my hair was red again. Then I got sick of it, so I just used some purple shampoo and uh, got rid of it. Then I thought, hey, I want to dye my hair again because if I try a different color, that will definitely fix my deep-seated emotional issues. So I remembered I had some manic panic I bought when I was drunk way back in October. So I just slathered that on this old mop and bam, I had purple hair for a couple of days. Then I decided to wash it out pink because I'm old and I've always wanted to look like Gwen Stefani in the Return of Saturn album. Yeah, so that's my, my guide to dyeing, dyeing your hair. It's not dyed right now because... Another thing you're gonna wanna do is develop close friendships with your roommates if you're not already good friends. Now, I live alone, so this was a little tricky for me. Luckily, I'm creative, and I found a solution. This is my roommate, Madeline Cottrell. Madeline was the first inanimate object in my house to develop a personality, and it started out as a joke. Now, I honestly don't know if she's real or not. <laughs> We talk a lot. She always looks over my shoulder when I'm on Zoom calls, and uh, I blame her when the dishes aren't done, because that way I end up hating her and not myself. So, you know, thanks Madeline for being the first inanimate object that I fell in love with, but also kind of hated. Yeah! Don't worry, it's not just me and Madeline here. I also have Chauncey. He's a broken dinosaur water gun that I've had for a couple years. There used to be two of him, but my ex-boyfriend took the other one to give to the stepkids I didn't know he had. <laughs> Life's real fun, isn't it? Chauncey and I have developed quite a on-again, off-again relationship. Uh, you know, a bit of a will-they-won't-they. They. Sometimes we play games, he always cheats, and sometimes I drop him on the floor and he breaks and his tail falls off, but I refuse to throw him away because I can't let go of the past. Also, I like to strap my little TV remote onto him because then I don't lose my TV remote, and also I get to pretend that he has a function. It makes me feel creative and like I'm not spiraling into madness. What? One final thing that helps me during isolation is Exercise. I have lived with mental illness for most of my life. Could have fooled me. <laughs> Not. And I find that exercise helps me keep clear headed and level headed so I don't completely lose my shit when I see people walking around the grocery store without masks, just rubbing their faces and rubbing them all over the bell peppers I wanted to buy. Yeah, exercise helps me stay healthy physically and mentally. Here are some exercises you can do at home. Just always be sure to hydrate. 
Oh. <coughs> it's not bad. I just fucking hate milk. Why do I have milk? So there you have it. Some life advice and isolation tips from me, Elspeth Wright, a 33-year-old unemployed single comedian. Congratulations on graduating, and I hope your lives turn out better than mine.